Maybe the bass are keying on the Pikachu bite. This is a Pokemon fishing lure. There's a fish. Oh, there's the one on the Pikachu lure. What's up, guys? It's the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another Epi banger video and do I have absolute epi banger for you guys today I have one that is especially banger more banger than usual let me show you guys alrighty guys so what I got for you guys today here is a Pokemon Pikachu lore right there I don't know if you guys can see it but I'm gonna show it on camera later today when we get out to the pond I'm gonna unbox and tie it up for you guys today this is a Pokemon fishing lure like when I say for this is like for fishing it's a jitterbug style lure it's all in Japanese so if it tells me how to use it uh, I don't really know how because I don't speak Japanese that's the main problem so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go throw this literally all day today maybe you throw around some BFS stuff I'm not really sure to yet think this weighs about three quarters of an ounce oh yeah three quarters of an ounce uh, four and sixteenths inches long 106 millimeters. This is more so like a collector's item, to be honest with you. I've been a huge Pokemon fan my entire life, so I'm definitely excited to give this a shot. I'm going to try some top water this pond. I really don't have a whole lot of luck with fast top water, but if you can reel this slow like it's saying to, I bet I probably could have a little bit of luck on this day. I'm actually going to keep this lure just because I love Pokemon and I want to have it like on a shelf and I want it to be one of those novelty lures, but I could not make a video on this. Like, how can I not make a video on the Pokemon Pikachu fishing lure? I'm definitely excited to give it a shot today it looks high quality the hooks are great i'm gonna unbox it for you guys real quick boom i actually there was in packaging i ordered some stuff from tackle warehouse besides this it's actually i ordered a glide bait for the heck of it because it was on clearance but right there it's got three trouble hooks but yeah you guys can see it it's a jitterbug style lure it has that jitterbug lip where it's concave in there and it goes pop 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 like this so what it's going to do is it's going to roll like this because that's how jitterbug style lures go. I can't even get my hands to work right. What the heck? I don't know what this is really meant to imitate in, a, in the water. I don't think it's meant to imitate. I don't think this is meant to imitate anything like a shad or a bluegill or anything really like that or a crawl. I think this really isn't meant to imitate anything in the water because uh, to be honest with you, it's a freaking Pikachu. I mean, it, don't expect it to have any imitation, but it does look like it'll kick up a little bit of water because it has like a little concave space inside there where it'll come up and kick a little bit of water. But uh, yeah, I, I'm talking about this out my butt right right now because I'm really trying to just think about what I have to say about a Pikachu lure but honestly that's about it I think I'm gonna go drive out to the pond get a little some b-roll of this on the rod I'm actually be throwing it on my frog rod today which probably isn't the best idea but that's whatever I'm gonna throw it on 65 brand pound break because I really do not want to use lose this lure so I'm gonna go out to the pond hopefully get some b-roll of the action too because I'm interested to see what the action does I've never seen the action on a jitterbug, jitterbug style lure which I think it's about time that I go give this lure a shot today you guys stay tuned let's get to fishing all right guys, we're at my local pond. I got the Pikachu lure right here. I'm gonna tie up and get ready to fish. All right guys, we're tying it up right now. I have a buzz bait tied on for the last video that did pretty well out there at the one lake we fished. Guys, typically with jitterbug style lures, you don't want to throw 65 pound braid with it, but I really don't want to lose this lure, so I am going to take the shot, say heck with it, and throw a 65 pound braid with this lure. Typically with mono, it would be better for these treble hook style lures to throw on here. To be honest, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, so we're going to try throwing it on this 65 pound braid today. Got to make sure that knot is nice and tight there, so we don't lose it. Make sure you yank on it a couple of times. We're all tied up, all set. I'm gonna go take this out and start fishing with it. I'll see you guys in the water. All right, guys, so far we've been fishing a little bit. I talked to a buddy out here, Bear, and I'm uh, fishing with this, and this lure has some crazy action. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what the action looks like, uh, just in some shallow water for y'all to see what it looks like, but this lure is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna get over here to this drain. I also have my BFS combo with me just to try out some stuff, but I'm going to uh, pitch my lure right here real quick. There's a bass right there. Oh my gosh. There's the action, guys. That's what it looks like. That's so sick. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. It's a little too far away, but I'm going to wind it in back out there. But sometimes the braid's getting caught up in the lure, so like the, the jitterbug action like kind of loses for a second. But this lure is kind of actually kind of perfect for today's conditions because it's so choppy out and it's actually kind of good. So 
I definitely would say this lure does have its practical uses. It's just I keep getting caught in the grass because <laughs> it's treble hooks. Let's see if I can get in this little hole to show you guys the action. But one thing I'm running into with this lure is it flips over a lot. Like it flips and it's like hard to get to stay upright while in the water. So like the action kind of loses itself. So I mean, this is definitely like one of those lures. It's a novelty lure, not like meant for like a competitive fishing aspect. I know that a lot of people will try to, but it's not a competitive fishing lure, but it is actually a really cool fishing lure that I'm excited to hopefully catch one fish on and call it a day. Because uh, it's gonna be a tough day if I'm fishing with this only all day. Unless it just turns out maybe the bite is a Pikachu. Maybe the bass are keying on the Pikachu bite. Who knows? But I've actually already gotten this lure stuck almost one time already. So I actually can kind of walk the lure though, now that I'm seeing it. I'm actually able to kind of walk it side to side. So maybe if I work it slower, it might even get bit more likely. I don't know, guys. Maybe there's a shop. There's a bass who wants to eat a Pikachu inside this drain. Let's see. Well, maybe if I didn't get tangled. Yeah, I don't think I can skip the Pikachu, guys. I don't think I can skip the Pikachu. The Pikachu, maybe the Pikachu is what the bass really want, though. Come on, some. Just give me a little bit of a hint of a bite. I'll take, I'll take a bite and losing a fish over, like, grinding out for the entire day and catching nothing. I'll lose a fish over catching nothing. So about this lure, guys, so far, what I'm noticing is this lure has almost a whopper plopper type bubble which is really cool. It's really great for like super top water heavy ponds, which this pond really hasn't been a big top water spot for me besides poppers and Logan caught a couple on a buzz bait. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, there's the on the Pikachu lure. Oh my God. On the Pikachu lure, it's a giant. Oh my god, it's a giant on the Pikachu lure. Oh my god, it's a giant fish on the Pikachu lure, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I just caught a freaking giant on the Pikachu lure. Guys, I don't know how big this fish is. Oh my god, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. I just caught an absolute freaking giant on the Pikachu lure. Oh my freaking gosh dude dude i just caught an absolute football on a pikachu lure oh my god <laughs> guys this is an absolute giant i wish i had my skill it's in the truck i don't want to run all the way back from my truck though oh guys i might have to run back to my truck for my skill oh i wish i had somebody with me right now oh my gosh guys that's like a four or five right there guys let's freaking go guys <laughs> i just caught a freaking giant on a freaking pikachu lure that's probably about a four or a five guys i don't want to get this fish out of the water for too long but what i'm going to do is i'm actually so fwc actually has this thing called the fish weight calculator i'm going to measure him and see how much he he how long he is on my guggen squad rod he he's about at 20 inches guys he's about 20 inches i don't want to run all the way across the lake to go get my uh whatchamacallit my <laughs> scale i'm just having a heart attack right now fwc fish oh gosh oh gosh buddy 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 it's okay it's okay it's okay so let's say my hand's about seven inches around so if girth is about 15 inches oh guys i'm trying to hurry up i don't want to have this fish out of water for too long oh my gosh guys i'm freaking shaking I caught down in the freaking Pikachu lure. Oh, okay, guys, I'm being as fast as I can. 21 inches, uh, about 14, 15 inches. He is very not happy with me. All right, guys, about 15 inches in girth. So he is about five and a half pounds on the estimator, two, like 2.5 kilograms. We're gonna hurry up and get him unhooked because I don't want a fish like this staying out of water for too long. Oh my God, dude, that's insane. <laughs> oh my gosh oh i'm so i'm so freaking oh i'm just, i'm just straight up oh my god my pressure right now <laughs> dude I, guys i am y'all don't understand how freaking excited i am to catch a fish this big on the freaking pikachu lure 
Guys, I didn't think I was gonna catch a fish this big today, like at all. I honestly thought like a dink was gonna freaking give me a swipe and I was just gonna foul hook him, honestly. All right, guys, uh, just got the fish out. Dude, that's a five pounder all day, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. I finally got the fish out. Let's make sure she's okay. And we're gonna get her out. Guys, I just stuck a five pounder on the Pikachu fishing lure. Let's get her back in the water. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and she's off. Guys, that was crazy. Y'all are gonna have to stay tuned for this video on the Pikachu lure. I just caught that on this bad boy right here. It's that simple. Guys, I'm like, my heart is racing right now, guys. That was a freaking five and a half on the Pikachu lure. I did not think that lure was gonna get destroyed like that. Holy crap, the line's still safe and not frayed, but I wish I took a selfie with that fish because that fish was so freaking big, but I'm alone right now, guys. It's killing me. I hope that y'all believe me when I say I just caught like a five and a half. That was an estimated. I did all the measurements on camera so y'all know that I'm not capping when I say it's a five pounder. Oh my gosh. Where I actually caught him was along this grass line. I twitched it a couple of times and I essentially just stopped and let it move. And he just swiped at it like it was nobody's business. That was an absolute giant, guys. That just got me so excited. I've been catching so many bigger fish lately. It's just been so nice. Let's see if another one hits like that. Good thing I have 65 pound braid on here, guys, because literally I can just rip through any grass I really want to. I don't have to worry about it. But guys, that was a giant. I wish there was someone out here walking so I could uh, take a picture but you know it's not always about the picture guys it's always just about experience you can't always have a picture of every giant fish you catch but it would have been nice if I could have a picture but I currently don't have anybody to fish with really right now so I didn't I'm not worried about it too much all right guys that's it for today's video as if you can't tell there's a big thunderstorm starting behind me and ironically what do you expect whenever you're fishing with the Pikachu lure it's gonna thunderstorm you know it's just natural he attracts the thunderstorm you know but I'm gonna give you guys one last look at the Pikachu lure that is the fit that is the fish catching machine right there there's some battle scars on the feet but you can't really tell on camera I've noticed but I tried taking pictures of it that lure is actually kind of all right uh, I will say that you need to go really slow if you ever do use this lure you need to use it really slow I mean I I do know it's just a jitterbug style lure and I know a lot of people use that for pike and things like that up north. I will say that this lure is not bad but I also don't think it's amazing. It does have like a bubbling action that's pretty cool and what I was doing is I was actually popping my rod and getting it to pop like a popper because one the other day I was actually killing it out here on a popper so I was like why not use it like a popper. So that's what really caught the fish for me today and I will say that it is a pretty sweet lure. I got the idea actually from John B's story of using that lure and I was like oh I gotta order that. I love Pokemon. That was awesome. Caught a fish on and that's what I'm happy about today. So hopefully we can get on them again sometime with the lure. I don't know if I'm gonna make another video using the lure because it's a very niche lure that I don't know if I'll use all the time. If it's a day like this, probably we'll use it again because it's super choppy, things like that. But overall, I'd say it's a pretty good day to catch one fish that big. I definitely will say I wanna do it again to catch a fish that big. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna bring some other prop bait style lures out to this pond, have some fun doing it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. Make sure you guys like the video, comment. What's your favorite part about this Pikachu lure is? Is it the water disruption? Is it the chop? Is it the fact you can work it slow? Is it the fact you can work it fast? Is it the fact it's so versatile? Or is it the fact that it's a Pikachu? Tell me what you think about it down below and I'll leave a link to it on Tackle Warehouse. And if you guys want to help me out, go check out all my Amazon links and also use code FISHFAIRMY to get your Pine Side merch for 15% off. I'm done for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, subscribe and remember, Fish Fair Me. Ooh.